which hilarious 70s sitcom referred to one of the black characters as Chalk Ice? The answer was Love Thy Neighbour. But first, is Brucey right when he says the Strictly race route has been blown out of all proportion? Have we lost our sense of humour about these things, as the TV legend claims? It's been six days now since the Sunday papers first revealed how Hoofa Anton Dubeck jokingly called his partner Leila Ruiz the P-word during private rehearsals, and the row shows no sign of abating, despite Anton offering a profuse apology. And yesterday, Brucey weighed in, telling Hacks how he'd seen us uh, discussing the issue on Monday's show. Yeah, he watches the right stuff. Fantastic. And how he agreed with the caller Shazia, who said she and her friends called each other the P-word all the time and took no offence. But the Strictly host went further, reminding us how... Everyone has a name for everyone else, and we shouldn't take these things too seriously. They use limeys. I, 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 I know where he's coming from on that score, but I'm quite glad that later on he clarified his position. I don't know whether he's been got at by the BBC's Thought Police or not, but uh, in a statement, uh, he said, racially offensive language is never acceptable. And then he went on, but whilst I accept we live in a world of extraordinary political correctness, we should keep things in perspective. And he's right, isn't he? I mean... I was just figuring this out. We don't even know if Layla was upset by Anton's comments or not. We're just having a really good time and want to move on. That's how, what she said. That's the only thing I've heard her say about this. So maybe all those who've laid into Anton are as guilty of bullying as he is of racism. Which crime is worse, I wonder? Interesting to note that the tabloids this morning have a good laugh at Jeremy Clarkson's quip that BBC bosses are obsessed with black Muslim lesbians, <laughs> and while Guy Ritchie escapes any kind of censure from the press for claiming his ex-wife Madonna yeah. is retarded. So, do you know what I mean? I'm just starting to think that... I think Brucey is right. I think it is out of perspective. Um, but that doesn't make it right. Uh, Oh, actually, we'll hear your views on this first, Mel, because... Uh... I don't think you can equate the P-word with calling somebody a limey. I think, you know, the word that he used, the P-word, it's, it's the connotation of it. First it's, of all, don't we have to start off with the, the person on the receiving end, whether or not they're upset by it or not? Is that not the starting point Well, I, I understood that she was upset by she's, it, and that she, and that she read, stormed I, off, you we've know... We've searched all the quotes, uh, and we, it's certainly been said that she left now. When someone storms out, that is a subjective kind of thing that a tabloid hack would write. I used to do those kind of things. Yeah. If someone leaves a room and you want to say there's an act, they're angry, you say they've stormed off. I yeah. don't know how you storm off as opposed to walk out. <laughs> I suppose that's storming. I doubt very much Layla would behave like that. She leaves the room. Every word she said says at no point does she say, I was upset or I was offended. She's I, never said it. Yeah, I, OK, fair enough. But, so, I think, but I everybody think, else is upset and offended. I think, yeah, I think he, should, he, sh he, should know I mean, he should know better. He shouldn't use those words. He shouldn't use those words, but he does shouldn't. it deserve six days of press coverage when there are probably people being beaten up all over the country in race crimes mm. and we're obsessed with this one ludicrous story in which the person on the receiving end may not have been offended? Everybody else is offended on her behalf. I'd say may. She may be offended, but she hasn't said she's been offended. Look, the press want to sell the newspapers. They're obviously selling lots Six of newspapers. Six days of it now. Well, you know, it's, it's up to the, to the newspapers not to, to carry on, you know, publishing stories about it. Well, I mean, what we, the we... newspapers normally do is, is, is they say, this is, this is dreadful, sack him. And then, when it, then, then, then it, whoever, whoever gets sacked, they then say, it's political correctness, come oh, mad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's what you get. I mean, I just think what, whatever the context was, it's like... Uh, the word packy, now we say, you know, you go into the packy shop, meaning you go into the Pakistani shop or whatever, but it's become sequestered as almost like the N word. But it is aimed at anyone it with a brown skin. With people so, being beaten up. Uh, I, I dated an Indian girl when I was living in Croydon, yeah. and routinely people would shout out. Yeah, well, well that's what I'm saying. It's, been, it's become sequestered as, as like the N word, yep. but for people who are, you know, of Asian origin now, so it's like, oh, you're, you know, and that's it. So, from that point of view, I just think it, it shows a certain amount of ignorance. I and Anton well, Debeck probably didn't come from we, an we, area. We've talked about an we, area we, where, we've where he grew up pe with people. The point from I'm trying races. to get to on this, in this discussion, we've done, we've done the Anton discussion on Monday, and, and mm -hmm. no one's going to say that using that word is a great thing. What I want to move it on to is whether Brucey is Brucey. right in saying that we've got it out of proportion. Day amazing. six. Yeah. Day six, front page news still in the papers, about a comment that we don't even know if the person on the mm. receiving end was offended. Six days, and we don't know if the person on the receiving end was offended. It can't be right. It's boring. I'm absolutely bored of this story. Mm. You know, and, you know, Danton's probably going to stay. He said he's apologised, move on. But, you know, with all these things, everyone jumps on the bandwagon, and, you know. So I think Brucey should have just left it. It was done, he's apologised. But 
what I didn't understand about what Bruce said was everyone's got a word for everyone. What I think it, that's when he started to, to fudge, fudge, the, fudge the waters a little, uh, fudge the issue a little bit, in as much as, you know, he was almost... I, what he was trying to say was, we've... Everybody used to call everybody mm. by everything, and we used to get along okay. Back, back, back in the old, but good old days. But within that context, there were people that were vile and horrible and unpleasant. I don't know about you, mind your language, you know? Black characters gave back as much as white characters oh. to each other. But would I want to sit and watch a show where two people of different colours slag each other off on TV again? No, I wouldn't. Yeah. The world has Can't moved, the world has moved it, on. It, it actually felt cringy watching it, you know? I mean, I grew up oh, in an right. area which was very mixed race, and you, you did kind of cringe at things like that. Because so we have, we have moved on, but yeah. his point was that, you know, we used to be able to... We, kept, we did have some kind of perspective, and I, and I think his point would be six days of front-page coverage in a row in which we don't even know if the victim feels that she was offended, it, it, it's bizarre. Yeah. And at the same time, everybody throwing sticks and stones at Anton, yeah. and you start to think, well, actually, are the people that are throwing all this stuff, are they actually more... Well, yeah, worse ..more hate-filled yeah. than, than he is? Well, they all, they all get a bit overly... Well, not so much righteous as self-righteous about yeah, it, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, so they like to exaggerate all, then it's the like they're Goody taking The Jay comments, position. you know, again, they were wrong, but did they deserve, you know, weeks mm. of coverage, when the real issue should be real examples of racism that are going On out the street, in, the, in yeah. the streets every day? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Brucey watches this show? Yeah. Brucey watches yeah, this yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. Brucey, if you're watching... <laughs> 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 I just wanted to get that in. <laughs> that was a very bad impression. <laughs> sorry, I had to do that. Do we have got a sense of humour? We have. We have I'm sorry, I, I, had, I had to get, get that off my chest. What is so fascinating, though, again... It was I, a I terrible impression, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Brucey, I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> sorry about that. I jokingly referred to the BBC Thought Police, but when Brucey was out there speaking freely, I think he spoke to Talk Sport and he, yeah. and he gave some other interviews, and he talked about everybody called each other by everybody's names. At some point, I reckon he was got at, because then he issues this mm -hmm. statement, which much more clearly defined what he wanted to say. Let's throw it open to you. What do you want to say? Uh, as I said, I don't particularly want to dwell on whether Anton was right or wrong. What I want to get to is whether six days of coverage matches whatever crime he is supposed to have committed. So let's find out what you have to say. Kirsty. We have Naz on line one.